welcome to another Q&A Wednesday here on Jessica Smith TV. Peanut and I finished shooting some workouts, so we thought we'd answer some more questions for you today. As you can tell, she's exhausted. <laughs> so our question comes from Nadi72, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry, on Instagram, and her question is, what is your advice opinion on how many days per week to work out to lose weight, and how many days to maintain weight loss? Truthfully, I don't believe there is one magic formula for everybody to lose weight with. Why? Our bodies are so different, our life lifestyles are different, metabolisms are different, calorie intake, all of that stuff. So I really don't have a very specific blanket recommendation for you. That said, I do believe you should get moving every single day. The problem I have with exercise plans that have you working out hard six days a week is that by day seven, you're exhausted, you just wanna lay on the couch and eat chips, right? So here on Jessica Smith TV, you'll notice that our workout rotations really alternate between high and low intensity days to give you the option if you want to take a rest day at any time you can, or you may not need one if you find that that high low intensity alternation really works for your body. If you find that there's a day where your body just feels completely drained of energy, it may be time for a rest day. You may just need to power down, take naps, just really take care of your body. So make sure that you do that if you notice that you need those rest days. And when it comes to working out for weight loss, I really find that less can be more. Personally, if I work out too much, I find that my appetite increases and then I end up eating more food, which just automatically replaces all the calories I've burned and sometimes more than that. So it may sound like vague advice, but I think it's really important to get to know your body and what really works for you. Some women may do really well with lots of high intensity work. There's even evidence that our genes may predispose us to certain types of training better than others. For example, some bodies respond better to high twitch muscle fiber work like sprinting, while others do better with walking or long distance types of exercise. Others do well with heavy weight training, while some respond better to body weight work only, light weights and or yoga. So my best recommendation when it comes to exercise and weight loss is to observe what makes your body feel most energetic and inspires you to eat healthfully and stay active throughout your entire day. That's when you know you found your own personal sweet spot. Your eating habits and daily activity level play an important role in weight loss, but it's exercise that really shapes and defines your body. It's also really important to remember that your weight may not be the best goal to strive for. I've seen clients actually drop sizes while gaining a few pounds as they've changed their body composition. So if you're adding more leaning muscle mass and reducing your overall body fat, you may actually see the scale go up while your dress sizes go down. Just remember the number on the scale can't reveal everything about your body, so don't place too much emphasis on it. When it comes to finding the best balance of workouts, pay attention to your body and what works best for you. Better to work out less per week and move more and feel more energetic than to train every single day and overdo it. So when it comes to finding out how many days a week you should work out to lose weight, pay attention to your own body's needs and feel free to use our monthly class schedules as a guide to figure out what works best for you. Thanks for your great question. Please leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts. And if you have a question for me that you'd like me to answer in an upcoming Q&A Wednesday video, leave it in the comments below. Thanks so much for tuning in guys and Peanut and I will see you next week for another Q&A Wednesday.